alive. It is time to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Too bad this is only an epic. Uh, Cause I just got my Steam Deck in today, and I would have loved to be like, "Can I play with this on the Steam Deck?" <laughs> just do the uh, backwards way to do it. Oh, where I like pop out of the OS. Yeah, you sideload uh, Epic Game Store. You can actually just sideload Windows on it. Yeah. So I I guess it would depend on which version of the store is currently running better. Mm -hmm. But you could totally decide load Windows um, on that thing. And I yeah. actually tell you, you get this tutorial from Steam on how to do it. They yeah. like, they're actually like 100% right fine with it. Uh, I've literally only played Rogue Legacy 2 just to like fuck, because I had like a half hour before we put it in movie club. It seems to work well. The thing I'd be used to is it's the Xbox control layout, not the, so like the, when they ask for certain buttons, I have to look what the fuck I'm doing. But it plays really well. Uh, it's I don't know. People who play it's heavy. It seems fine. GBH. Well, they're probably comparing it to like a Switch. Yeah, no, it's heavier than a Switch, but at no point, I just, like it's fully fine. Which like obviously it's gonna be heavier than a Switch. Yeah. Like I don't know. You fuckers grew up playing the original Xbox control. You can't like, exactly complain about a Steam Deck's weight. Yeah. <laughs> That's objectively yeah, the, worse. The Steam Deck can't kill a person. Yeah, the original Xbox. The Duke can't. I'm pretty sure a Duke could easily kill somebody. I want to drop a Duke from like a skyscraper. <laughs> Just see how many casualties I get with it. What's the, what's the YouTube channel that's like? Oh, we drop something from like 200 meters onto a ball or something like that. Yeah, yeah, like a, yeah. A medicine ball. The Duke. Yeah, the Duke would just obliterate the ball. <laughs> there would be no medicine ball. I mean, right now, I guess in an hour of Grand Slam starts for Adam. Yep. God Which, damn it, I was reading that book. I know. Yeah, I bitch. saw you. I, there's a thing that shows up over your head when you interact with those. So that's how I knew you were in the middle of it. <laughs> it's like, fuck, I'm about to die. <laughs> Oh, did you see, I forgot what, some esports team, their, their guy is gone now because he hung with Andrew Tate. Speaking of Andrew Tate on this, those you speak, speak about Andrew Tate on these streams, apparently. We do every now and then. Well, the only reason it was ever brought up is because that was the day that, like, the internet Everything happened. That, yeah, we're no longer going to deal with this piece of shit. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, But, like... To be fair, I would have never known who this man was if the internet did not decide to do that. Yeah. I mean, I get right why his stuff is, is so popular. Mm -hmm. um, especially with younger kids. Because um, he seems like he's... Oh, this dude's like, he's got the secret or whatever. But you then quickly realize that, nah, it's just so much of life SOS, is SOS. Luck. SOS. Scare them off by you appearing. No, there's <laughs> like 15 other people here. All I saw was you show up, and then all of a sudden the guy's like, "Nope." <laughs> oh, there's our friend.
Are you in combat? Yeah, I've got it though. Oh shit, I missed the van. Where's our friend? Oh, he's on that other tree. The guy keeps running trees? He's a drug dealer. So, so my friends never heard this. I'm gonna see if there's a thing you're going up. So I grew up in a neighborhood with like the like light posts where, um, like, like above, um, like the house, like the electric cords or whatever. So versus like underground. Did you know the thing too? If there's a shoe above it, that means drug dealers live there. Um, the shoe on the wire is, and signifies a bunch of stuff. But like that's how I always knew it as their like drug dealers. Uh, then that would just be for your local area. Okay. So I don't think that was a thing like more nationally or because that was what it meant for us. No, I mean it was um, in my area. It was like a um, it, a different way to honor um, a fallen person. Oh, interesting. That's a way different meaning. Yeah. I'm about to die. Maybe not. Nope, I'm dead. It's gonna be fast. Shit. Oh, damn. Shit. <laughs> I'm dead. Jesus. I was launching in my skyrocket as he knocked me out. Yeah, uh, it, it counted as a KO before he even got hit in the air yeah. on my end. Yeah, I got the match of the day bonus as I launched. So. That's when you know. I mean, Kingston's going over, right? Speaking of Grand Slam. Mm-hmm. Like, Kingston's going over. Oh, 100%. Especially, like, he is their, um, kind of spokesperson for Suicide Prevention Month. Oh, yeah. Like, he put out a big... It's like seven minutes. I saw it. I didn't watch the thing, but I saw it. I watched most of it. I'm also assuming the acclaimed win the belt. Like, there's no way you have them lose again. Like, I just don't believe it's possible. I think the only reason you would have them drop it is um, for them to win it in a hometown of one of theirs. Oh no, because it was like the crowd was already not happy with them winning it in Chicago. Like. Yeah, I mean, obviously the crowd is behind the acclaimed 1,000%. Mm hmm Right, like... Here comes the ultimate question. Do we think any new wrestlers appear tonight? Uh, n no, because it sounds like Kong's trying to maybe lighten the roster. Yeah. I mean, you know, there was the story out there of uh, Malachi getting his release. Um, and I think the way that it was handled in terms of uh, what he put out, how things went down, mm -hmm. I think it was very cool for uh, on AEW's part where they're like, yeah, dude, you have like four years left of his deal or whatever it was. Like, we can't force you for that long. <laughs> but also, like, You, you kind of have a Tyson Kid esque injury where we're not sure if you could ever wrestle again. Put this ring right, like, oh, oh, wait, it can. you know, we're not going to promise you anything, but you have a position here unless you don't want it. Hey, come down, I got a guy. Where? He just went to outside the other building. I'm prepping. Oh, he's up by me. By you, by you? Oh, no, he just fell on the ground.
He's up here. Hello. Oh, I see him. He's climbing up to the top. Yep. That was just fun because I got him mid. He was trying to do a uh, attack up. Mm -hmm. Damn. You. How dare you try? Oh, his buddy's here. Is he? Currently stun lock, so this is fun. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Nope. The speed of that is still dumb. Yeah. It's like what a second and a half. If that. if that. Well, apparently, if somebody goes super, it like knocks you away. I either need health or I need another couple of stars. I need you. So super. Like now. There, I'm super. SOS? I see you, but you're kind of under the track. It's you. Fuck. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Like. There's so many of this, many of these game systems, I was just like, okay. Yeah, this game is, is has its moments. It's like 80% fair. Oh no, yeah, but I think a 20 might be too high of unfair. Well, it's more of, there just seems to be situations where like, the game's rules don't apply to your opponent? <laughs> no, here's the other thing, though. Is this more or less fair than than 2K wrestling games? Um, I think more, because you have no idea what's going to happen with those. <laughs> Stopped. Yep. No. Nope. That's all you. Watch your back. Jump. I'm breath of the wilding this, which means I'm just climbing with all of my might. Jump. I just got knocked off. Somehow leveled up from that. Nope, I'm about to die. Wee! So who walks as champ tonight? Mox or Brian? In my heart, I want it to be Mox because I feel like it. There was no reason for them to put it on Punk. It's it's Punk. Like he needed a champ, right? But yeah. No. 
Punk doesn't need shit. Punk's... Punk's the most, like... Overrated is not the right word, but, like... Also kind of the right word. Where are you? Oh, shit, you're way up there. Yeah. Are you um, you know, like, and there goes the raid. So much of... Punk's persona and goodwill is built on his time a decade plus ago, right? Like, I'm not getting up to you. I, I figured you went. Um, you know, so there's just no reason to really... I don't know, like... Even deal with him. Right, like, ever since that... The... Uh, podcast that he did with Cole Cabana. It's like he's had this ultimate grudge against everyone, right? Like, it's everyone against Punk. When in reality, like, it wasn't. Um, it's just that's what he wanted to believe. And the dude holds a grudge like none other. You know, there's so many signs of why Punk just really isn't a great choice for a lot of stuff in terms of um, like hitching your company to him. Maybe isn't the smartest idea, um, especially now. You know. I really think, too, the, the thing that was the the straw in the camel's back was when Punk tried to do UFC. Mm hmm Like, that disaster proved, like, it proved to everyone that, um, you know, Brock is truly one of one. There's nobody else in the world that could ever do what he did. Oh, yeah, no, that's... Nice drop kick, dude. Um, yeah, he's zone coming. coming. And, you know, because of kind of... Do you have any moves at all? What's that? Yeah, I have two. There's more loot on the way. But that's not going to matter because I got... I got a duo here ready to fucking knock my shit through. Annabelle Super? Yep. <laughs> um, Did you just... Yeah, I was super. <laughs> that, that fucked you. That's all that move does? The Irish whip? Yeah, it's, it's designed as a throw. From the looks of it. Like when I was... Like, you throw them off, or you hit them Yeah, when I was playing guess. solo, that move is devastating for on top of Bill Wade. Yeah, also, if you just want to get out of a moment, I can see it, too. What's up, Lucha Bros? Lucha, Lucha. God, those guys might be my favorite. Like, legit, just... You know, two guys that I love to watch. And I love the gimmick. Sam! Yeah. Yeah. Penta's said Romero, mm -hmm. like, that bit is so, like, it's perfect for him, right? Like, that character, what it means for that character's confidence, like, as a kind of comeback move, um, yeah, like, it's basically the Lucha version of hulking up. That was weird, because, like, I couldn't do anything. Yeah, you were just, they both were going for it. it I, done. I sprinted dodge, and I thought you could sprint out of the dodge, but I couldn't, so...
But now to answer your question of who I, who I think, so the difference is, I, there's two different answers. Mm-hmm. Who I think and who I want. I want Mox to win because he's just so good. My issue, I think we can't, like, Mox is to the point where he's too dominant. I'm concerned they're going to pull over Brock Lesnar on him. I mean, but that's the thing. He is that character. Like, totally, but like... He is that. And so I think I think Brian can win from a technical, because Mox is less yes. a technical wrestler. And Absolutely. I think that's how they can pull off the story to keep him dominant, but still have him lose. And then Brian losing at least makes sense down the road if you just have someone who just gets a good shot on him. And I think that's part of it, is at least facing a technical wrestler, you have an easy out. Yeah, I mean, like, if you were to ask me who would win between... Um, or who should win, I should say, between... Also, would that give Blackpool every single belt? No, because pac has got the All-Atlantic and the Trios. Okay, but otherwise they're one belt, yeah. I partially want them to just have every belt at once and just make that the thing. I mean, you know shit. Is? Like, they've already done them. the belt collector gimmick. But I think doing it as a stable is so much cooler. That's what I mean. Like, it's not just they're doing a gimmick, it's doing the stable. This yeah. match is forever. Jesus. Uh, we are coming up on almost two minutes of placing for our next match. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, as a stable, it is so much cooler. It is. It's such, like, a better... Okay, that guy just did damage. Yeah, I, was, I think I saw a 936. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, on a car. Jesus. Yeah. Double car, double car. Yes! Oh, you're watching the same guy? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't watching the, the same guy. I was watching his partner. Okay. Um... I thought they had taken out the double car, but I guess not. Or maybe it was just the car stun lock. Like, there was a way that you could build up, like, 1,500 damage with certain moves because you could stun lock them on a car. Uh, should we back out and try? What are we going to do? I don't think it's going to be any faster, honestly. We've never had this cube bomb before. Uh, no. I've had it. I had a, I had a match take like six or seven minutes to find, and I was playing solos. Oh Jesus! Solos should be easier too. One would think. Maybe it's because all the wrestling nerds that play this game are getting ready for Grand Slam. So How many people are in the final ring? God damn. Jesus. Uh, Claudio versus Jericho. What about him? Do they give Jericho his Ring of Honor belt so he could say he's had an every major promotion? If they do, I think that might be the wrong thing to do. But like part of me like having giving Jericho, because that's Jericho's thing now is just like he's been like he's he's so shtick as I wrestled forever. Like Tony wants to give him the belt so he's had like every major belt. Even if he loses it tomorrow. I mean the the reason I say I don't want that is the ROH belt is meant for ROH guys. Right? Like ROH style guys. Maybe not necessarily ROH guys. And Jericho just isn't one of those. Oh, totally. Because I think he's not even doing... Is he doing Lionheart or is he back to... I think he's still doing Lionheart, but still, I mean... Because the match he did the other week wasn't Lionheart. So I think he's just doing for main of, like, big events right now. Yeah. As long as Jericho Appreciation Society doesn't come out to join him. You favorite, would, right? That would be part of the thing, like... Because isn't that one of the rules is no interference? Well, no, more, like... Having JAS be, like, his... Like, kind of crutch to fall back on, I guess. 
is really annoying. Because, mm -hmm. like, okay, yes, Claudio has the Blackpool guys. But they don't... But since there, a lot of them are the Ring of Honor background, they kind of let stuff happen. Well, it, not even that. They don't interfere with matches. Yeah. Because, like, they're really not teammates. Oh, fun. We were unable to matchmake. Sure, uh, leave match. Yes. Um... You know, they don't... They don't necessarily always come out to the ring with... Yeah. Um... Their other, I guess... Uh... Teammates. So... Yeah, it's, it's why I... I respect them doing that because it's like it helps set up the trio stuff and in a way like it gave regal something to do mm -hmm. you know it it gave yuda some serious like honestly some street cred mm -hmm. like, for him to be kind of the chosen one i do like it too like he fits it really well I'm number one. So we could actually damage each other like during this. Like, I feel like it'd be kind of fun to be like if we could get knocked out to try to knock people out. I mean, it's the battle royale thing though, right? Like, so yeah, but Call of Duty, you die. I can really keep going. Yeah. You do die in Call of Duty. That's what I, I want that. Like, the, we spawn immediately, but let me see damage, action, people, and shit. Well, but Call of Duty is also incredibly unique in, mm -hmm. in the gaming landscape from that standpoint. Like, Oh, no, totally. But I would say I like that kind of... Give me something. And what was interesting about Call of Duty is it counts for, um, like, getting level ups and weapons. Yeah, I love that. It's like... Which makes sense, right? Like, because how often do you get to use them? This gives you a nice little moment. Well, no, more of like the reason it would count towards your progression. Like, everything counts towards your progression. Right. You know, there used to be exploits where you could do spec ops missions. Um, Co-op. Help. I think it was. And. Um. Work on camos that way. In some of the older Call of Duties. Things are heating up, and the ring is on the move. Is this the end of the world? Okay, that's her. Pink is her, is his friend. So. Yeah, fat ass, come here. Oh, dead. Cool. You didn't have shit, did you? Um. The other thing we can talk about is, uh, the RTX 40 series getting announced. Since you just bought a new card. For $1,600. What was your card worth? Uh, so the Founders Edition was seven hundred. Um, I got mine for seven fifty. It's not a Founders though. So, did I overpay? Probably, but also it's a third party, and you kind of overpay anyway. Um, you know, you overpay for some of the cooler designs and things like that. So. Was I worried about it? No, because it was 50 bucks over 
retail for founders. So. See if you want any of these. Uh, I need a move. I guess I'll take that one just because it's the only one that I have. Help. Still alive? Yeah, I'm fine. I just got knocked off. I thought that was gonna be worse. That was the only reason I said oh shit was because I was flying down the. Uh oh, here come the crates. The competitors must be thanking the refs right now. This crate mechanic would be perfect for the uh, kaiju big battle <laughs> stuff that they have in, I think, in San Francisco. Which, you and I definitely need to go to one of these weird-ass indie shows. At some yeah, point. like, not the, like, off-band, but, like, the pure, like... Like, everyone's dressed up as X, Y, or Z. Speaking of things that we need to go to, they announced they have one counter uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And there are 24 races. The Las Vegas race is the second to last race of the year. For next year, right? Yeah. And it's the week before Thanksgiving. Rex is right after my birthday. No, the NASCAR is my birth. No, that is the one I'm thinking of. NASCAR is 4th of July weekend. Yes, the Chicago race. Yeah. So I was talking to my family about that yesterday when I saw it come out. And I was like, man, my uh, frequent flyer miles are about to go hella up. If I do that next year. Yeah, I okay. Stun oh, locked. That's fun. I'm super, so I'll get. I should get back up. No? I'll be back in like two minutes. By the way, while we're loading. Okay, I guess I don't get back up. See if matchmaking decides to work. Match found 28 seconds later. Sweet. Ah, uh, beer.
He's freaking out all over the place. I'm back. Were we just in a queue the whole time? Uh, we found a match in 28 seconds. <laughs> and then died. And then... No, we... It just then took that long to... And it's all. Anything can happen now. Watch your back. There's one normal crate up there. And a couple crates down here. You can have a super kick party. The rats are turning up the heat. Get Your friend. Hello, friend. Does KO mean their teammates still ever forget? Uh, not necessarily. Okay. Where are you? There are now two arrows above you. Yes, why are there two above me? Dude, I super kicked his ass in the next week. That was awesome. If nothing else, we now have a win and me just super kicking him in the outer space. I'm fully content with whatever my Rumbleverse career ends up being from here on out. A friend coming, it looks like. Where? No, never mind. We're not gonna. I got someone. Things are heating up, and the ring is on the move. Nice, you had super kick too. Mm hmm. I mean, I was joking about a super kick party, but I also got rid of my super kick, so. Oh shit. Yep, I just realized that too. How is she still alive? Yep. That's gotta kill her. What? Shit, I'm out of stamina. The ring may be drinking, but my excitement for this competition is at an all time high. Alright, this is gonna be fun. 
Can I get you? No, shit. No. Are they trying to run the time on you? Well, they fucking stun locked me, is what they did. Got their eyes. But it doesn't matter. Although, if I can get. If I can get the one that's super out of the ring, mm -hmm. she only has like one second left. What was that? Missile dropkick from four zip codes away? It would be nice though if like the the style of your character actually affected something. Yeah, no, that is. I I thought that too. Like maybe stamina drain is you know ten percent higher, but damage is ten percent higher. Yeah, like nothing massive, but enough. I think if there was a reason to have your character be a different shape and that it would affect your stat bonus as much the same way that like it happened in Red Dead where like if Arthur was overweight mm -hmm. or underweight right like certain stats were affected. And I think honestly if you just do like a simple 10% trade-off, right? Like, be enough. Yeah. It's enough to be noticeable eventually. Mm -hmm. Right? You're not gonna notice 10% faster stamina decline. You need a hand. I see that. That's not what I wanted to pick up or do. Got his ass. Fuck, you knocked him out of my super. No. Oh. You did it again. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you for help. I just sent her to the moon, so... You got somebody that's in your remote area, so good to know. I'm on top of your building, so. <coughs> so 
Speaking of all out, did you see the uh, shenanigans that the Bucks were doing on Twitter? Uh, I don't think I did actually. Where they keep changing their location. Oh yes, I did do that. Which I mean, they're known for doing that, so known for kind of breaking the fourth wall with a lot of that stuff, which I think is funny. Um, did you see Omega's fight mark? Yeah. <laughs> That was the biggest, like, that in the confirmation that, like, the Elite brought in the head of legal to make sure everything was, like, kosher. And it still went down the way it did. Was the biggest, like... Punk wanted to call people out for a fight didn't and didn't expect a fight. Right, like... You don't expect adults to get in a fight. I don't know. Well, you straight up said in your presser, right? Like, if you have a problem, come talk to me. Sure, but I don't know. How... So I don't think I expected that. They come to talk to you with the head of legal just to make sure everything is kosher. And you're not, like... You know. Because, I mean, they're EVPs, right? Like... You know, mm -hmm. They're not just normal wrestlers. Wait, who? What? Oh, I got it. <laughs> well, I thought I hit a. Uh, charge move and then suddenly I'm getting thrown into the air so I was very confused but yeah I mean you gotta imagine Ace Steel's out of there like mm -hmm. there's no way he does that and they're just like oh yeah no like we'll suspend you for 90 days but you can come back Like, that is grounds for termination at any job. Biting an EVP? I mean, biting a person in general, right? Like, <laughs> you know, had they just maybe thrown some fists and maybe some, like, punches actually landed? Maybe. It's fine I with still... the suspension. Like, I still like the idea that Kenny Omega was there just to grab a dog and then... <laughs> well, yeah, there was this whole, like, oh, Ace Steel is protecting his wife. From all accounts, like, the Bucks and Kenny and, you know, the head of legal and all that were just there to, like, talk. Mm -hmm. They weren't there to get into an altercation. And then suddenly, Ace Steel is throwing a chair at someone. I think a lot of people are expecting some of it to maybe show up on like a being the elite. No, but they're suspended now too. Well, but what I was going to say is there's no way they went into that room with a camera. Oh, yeah, no. Like, if they were truly going in to figure out, like, what he was trying to get at, you don't go in trying to... Else their entire argument's done. Yeah, do a bit. So. If you went in there doing a bit, for sure your defense is... Now, were there plans to turn that whole shit into a bit? Sure. Probably eventually, right? Like, they may have gone into that thinking, oh, you know, this would be a great, like... Um, What's everything calms? Yeah. A great thing to reference back to. Because they love doing that. Which I have no problem with, but... Mm -hmm. you do. But you have to wait till it's calm to do that. Yeah. 
And I mean, there's been times where they've kind of maybe poked the bear a little too soon. Mm. Um. Heads up! The ring's closing now. Which, I mean... I think some people are more up in arms when stuff like that happens a little too early than they were expecting. Um, which I understand. Right, like... But what you, what you have to understand is maybe they were fine with it when they made it. And that's the thing. But... And that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's... I think the, the thing that the vlog culture has killed, um, and internet culture to a lesser extent, has killed, is the idea that everyone thinks differently. Right? Like, something may be offensive to one person, but not to another. Um, or, you know, maybe a joke is perfectly timed for one party, but another party sees it as maybe too soon, or, you know, whatever. Oh, come um, in. Shit, this one's super. I'm super as well, so. Good, I'm about to die. Fake bear ass, that was awesome. What the shit? I keep getting hit and up, hit out of my like charge moves, and it's really annoying. There's one. Well, they're now super again, so that's fine. Look out! There's more loot on the way! Down. Oh, I downed their ass, that was fun. Is he down? Yeah, it's other. Not this guy, obviously, but. Downed him. Oh, but he was super. Who's this way? He's running. That bitch, he's running. Yes. Oh, yes. You got him? Yes, I miss a drop kick his face in the next week. Oh, shit, 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 fuck. Down him. We got a runner. Did he. what? He had a super. Super res, okay. I need health. Bad. Down to three ninety. Oh, you want to join the four way? Somebody is stuck in a super kick pose. I don't know if they're stuck on your screen. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. I put you right into that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh. That was just mean. Thank you, tree. With every passing moment, the arena 
continues to contract. Shit. This fucking fence wasn't here I could get to. I'm trying to figure out, because, um, like, I can now fill up my bar for boosts. Um, you know, like, all of my, my stamina and damage boosts and stuff like that, I can fill it all the way up. But there is, like, some sort of max thing normally I thought so maybe it like progresses through the game like each ring that you survive you can add another one or something the ring's closing I hope no one's claustrophobic Top five. You couldn't solo it? I'm disappointing you. Not when I think everyone else were teams. At least that's the way it felt. It didn't look like that. I do wish it would tell you the true player count. Mm -hmm. Like, not the team count. Because I think, like, true player count would tell you so much more um, in terms of, like, okay, there's ten people left, and we're two of them. So is it four squads? Is it a mixture? Yeah, I agree with both. Like, like, Call of Duty gives me both. Yeah. Well, that might be a little too, um, like, I love that you can have both, but that's a little too much, like, okay, well, I know that this guy's probably a single, right, like, it takes some of the math, uh, that these games are kind of known for out of it, if you know exactly how many squads are left, mm -hmm. as well as how many people. It was probably my biggest bonus for, like, when we were starting to play PUBG. It was like, okay, we can kind of do the math and figure out how many people are truly left. Okay. Yeah, I felt like it was a lot less likely, though. I think this game, too, I guess. There's a lot less solos running. Yeah, you're not seeing a lot of, like, you know, one person playing duos um, situation. Mm-hmm. Also, with how easy it is to gain super in this game, you know, even if you lose your duo partner, 
if you do it right, you have a free res. What I don't know, and what would be the interesting question to see, is can you do that multiple times? Mm. You know, like, could, could there be a game where you or I go out and the other gets super, like, six or seven times and can get, like, four reses? I'm getting fucked by the architecture of this building right now. Because <laughs> like, I feel Friend like time. getting the first super takes forever. But getting... And rest supers easier. afterwards, it's like, oh, I'm already super again. Ah, uh, come help. I'm coming. Oh, yes. That was awesome. That was a huge traverse. Fuck. Oh, got me. Partially up the bowl. There's somebody else here. Yeet. Alright, they're both up here. Come on. The game lets me. Holy that was shit. a bad idea. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Uh, sorry about that, by the way. You're fine, I got the guy with me. I think my health regen was enough. I think in that situation, you just gotta super the dude to get him out of the way. I mean, really, like, the, the res is so short and the timer stops when you start holding B. Mm -hmm. And you're in no situation where you're not going to res someone. Right, like, it's just not going to happen. So I think you just super the dude that's camping the other person's body. If you have a super. Or do a vicious attack. And then... You know, go for the res from there. The match has barely started and I'm already exhausted from excitement. Somebody grab me some electrolytes. You know, we've talked about before with this game, like, if potentially getting licensed stuff would be mm -hmm. helpful at all. I don't know if it would. 
Like, I genuinely don't know if having I got them by the a license, whether it be WWE or AEW or whatever one, right? Like, shit. Thank you. At least you knocked him. <laughs> yeah, I died. Him. Don't get caught out of bounds. I'm the one camp on the body now, bitch. Ah, uh, friends coming. Now. Nice, his partner's dead. Uh, it's, it's, she's not as vengeance. Where? I think she ran. I think she might just realize her partner's dead. I got friends. Yep. Oh, look. Um, just got super. And I'm bouncing. I'm fucked. I'm royally fucked. Look out. I somehow survived. That's fine, I didn't. I had the camera pointed at the dude and I ran <coughs> to the back of a truck. I think the major problem that you and I have when we play these games... Mm -hmm. Isn't that we're not talented enough? Because like, we've won in every battle royale that we've played. It's that, especially in a game like this that has bugs that can be exploited, we don't have the time to learn those. I mean, I guess technically we do, right? Like, we could mm -hmm. on off days play this and figure it all out. But we don't. So we are at a distinct disadvantage of when these get so popular. I can't wait for today's match. It'll be like a birthday you know, party. But with the these teenagers have party. all day to watch YouTube videos when they're not paying attention in school <laughs> to figure out the strats for Rumbleverse. You're in love. You and I both work jobs, and we don't have that kind of time. That, that was a, the big thing for me in high school was Hearthstone. That was when it went to mobile. And we had tablets. Oh yeah, that was the thing, right? Like, my, my junior, or, yeah, I think it was my junior year, we got iPads. And... I think I lasted about two months before I jailbroke my iPad. <laughs> uh, I had the better thing of I knew the teacher's Wi-Fi password, and the teacher's Wi-Fi password had no restrictions on it, and it was way faster. Oh, I never had to deal with that because I knew I had staff access because I worked in the. Oh, well, I did too because of broadcast. But that's yeah. why I had it was our computers were on the teacher's network because it was better. So we just figured out the password. The fighters have touched down, and Gravital City is about to explode. What was funny was I was I was insane enough that I put my phone on it, <laughs> but no one ever called me out on it. Well, unless they were watching it every day, mm -hmm. they're not gonna know. And I was gonna be like, well, I was using this. Oh, take it off. Like, it's just like, pretend it's no big deal. And that was the best part. Like, I had. So I had my phone, I had my iPad, and I had a laptop all on staff access. Because I would need all that stuff to be connected to it. 
for certain things that I was doing. Like, I worked with the athletic department. I worked in the auditorium. Like, your boy was a little hustler back in high school, working all kinds of jobs. And now uh, look at him. Yeah, now he works one job. Wow, that ring is getting small. Doesn't make near the money that he should. <laughs> um. And is still going to school. But it's almost done. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm probably ten to twelve months out from getting a degree, so that's nice. Um, At least you have the end in sight. Yeah. Which one hundred percent makes it better. I mean, it sucks because you have the end in sight. But you want it to be like, sooner. Fuck, man! How many more terms do I have? Okay. You know, that kind of stuff, but... Mm -hmm. I was stuck there for a second. So, I mean, yes, having that and knowing kind of, like, what all of that entails in terms of a significant raise. Um, and not only a raise, but in a way, better working condition. Mm -hmm. um, like my plan is currently to stay where I'm at and just move about communications department um, and everyone knows that like I've told everyone that I work with I told my boss like straight up in the interview I'm like here's what I'm doing like, uh, I, want, okay. I want you to know this so that you're not surprised in two months when I'm filing paperwork to do tuition reimbursement stuff like this is what I'm gonna do and my boss is like that's totally fine like I get it you're 25 when I was hired um we got people you know you're 25 I don't expect you to be in this job your entire life so thank you um right thanks for understanding like, you may not necessarily like it, but you understand, and that's part of it, right? Like, oh shit, we got everyone and their brother here right now. Oh fuck, super dude got his buddy up. my vicious attack, so glad that you got him. Fuck out of here, bud. Fuck a truck. Down one. Well, the other guy that was here was the buddy of uh, the dude that I downed, so... I'll let him climb and I'll get the attack bonus. Hey, a hand. Yeah, I see that. Fuck. Say, we need to get space because I need to heal. Okay, ready. Yep. We got friends here. So 
saw that dude whiff on a super. That was pretty funny. But yes. I did it right after him. Oh, he's got giant swing too. Thanks, bud. Dude threw me to the ring, which is awesome. So thoughtful of him. Right? Other guys camping my body, so. Five, four, done. <laughs> what? His ass. I don't think Sign Buddy is his friend, so. Heads up. The ring's closing now. Did he have a friend? Yeah, it's that buddy running. Never mind. He's gonna be out of the zone, so he's probably not too worried about picking him up. Oh, there he is. You saying? Nice. Got his ass too. I was I saw I was like I have a running tackle. Friends. Yeah, one of the friends is super, so it's gonna be fun. Where the fuck is shit up over? That's you. Goddamn health. I don't need attack up. I need chickens. I need my Castlevania chickens. Shit. I got donked by a bat. Nice. Oh, I got super. Nice shit. You just like run in a loop. <laughs> yep. Fuck you. Pulled him out of my. Let's just. There we go. Down his ass. Two, one. Yeah. Damn, I thought I could do it. That's good. Hey, if you can clutch this, I think we win. I think these are the last two. Nope. They are the last two. Attack was only so good. Yeah. I know, I got fucked by the volley dive that I had. I'll right be back in two minutes, so we're in the four next game.
That was not two minutes. I apologize. Uh, Jericho won. Over Mox? By the way. Yep. N no, over Mox. Oh, over uh, Claudio. Yeah. Okay. They did, they did the Ring of Honor thing that I thought. Give him all the belts. So I was trying to... Me and I had a good time with it. Do... Is Jericho the longest running active wrestler who's like actively full-time wrestling? Uh, right now? Yes. Um... Because Rhodes was best with three years less, and I was like, only thought who you would think of. Oh, Dustin? Yeah. Uh, Sting would be up there, but he wrestles so little. And we didn't count Sting, because he's like, sure he does, but like, he's like, like when you see a part-time. Like, I didn't count, like, if, if Austin would go back in the ring. Like, I was counting, like, actively, like, almost week to week, like, in a ring type. I mean, also, very few people are in the situation that Jericho's in, where they started at, like, 14. Yeah, no, that's the bell. I mean, like, the Hardys could, in theory, uh, get up oh, there. I didn't, look. I didn't even think of that one, yeah. Because I think, I think Jeff's first televised match was when he was, like, 13. Because Jericho's was, in, is like, 88 or 89. Yeah. Like, he is, he's wrestled in five decades, which is a yeah. wild stat. <laughs> like... There's someone above us, of course. Yeah. We get ready. I heard footsteps, so. There, I'll grab the bat. Cool. Fuck shit up. Oh, oh here, we go, here he is. He runs. Oh, he didn't want to be flash buddies with you? Um, but I mean, other than the Hardys, and I'm sure there's somebody for, like down in Mexico or something like that. Sure, right? I guess. It, but like, I was just trying to think of like stuff um, that like would be known. Like Minoru Suzuki. He would be, if I had to guess, Murder Grandpa is probably up there. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if he was um, up there. Now, whether or not he was um, active that whole time, I don't know. Yeah, because Jericho's been active the whole time. That's part of it, too. Has it been with like a two month period of Jericho that wrestled in his life? Yes. There uh when he went to rehab. Okay, fair. I guess that's one. Obviously that's kind of extenuating circumstances. Um But but the point but my point was like he is like in there forever. Yeah. I mean he wrestles such a safe style now like Oh yeah. But it's still dangerous. Like a safe wrestling style still I mean, he also had a stretch where, like, um, you know, when he was doing the Canadian circuit early on, he would wrestle, like, ten times in two weeks and then have mm -hmm. two months off because they just didn't have shows, so. But I think that is different in a lot of ways, what I, from what I'm saying. Like, it's kind of like a... I know it is. Because it, 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 that's like, that's like, whenever you see, like, when you watch that, your parent thinks he's Sting, they're like, I'm sorry, that man's still. <laughs> also, Sting is, I think, 15 years older than Jericho, so. Yeah. Because I made a joke before, um, all out. 
was who's gonna try first, Jericho or Punk? And I'm like, I think it might be Punk. <laughs> I don't know if Punk will officially retire, but he will be in a position where nobody wants to sign his ass. But Jericho, I feel like, will be someone who will be there forever, whether he becomes a coach or a commentator or whatever. Like, I can see him kind of just being. Like, he's such a staple. Um, Art Anderson would be up there too. I don't know if he's necessarily been in the ring as long, but he's been in the business. He was a manager for a while, um, and he's still active. I mean, obviously, no nobody's gonna touch Flair's career. Like, well, yeah, but Flair should have been retired twenty years ago. Flair was retired 20 years ago. <laughs> Flair needs to stop getting divorced is the problem. He's getting us all kinds of stars. Oh, you should hear about um, prenups. I do wonder, like, how does that man get in so much trouble in terms of his divorces? Because... Somebody had to be like, dude, just get a lawyer. Just get a prenup. <laughs> and if or five. She, if she doesn't want a prenup, don't get married. That's what Alright, you bitch, where are you? I do wonder if there's any sort of advantage playing this on console if there's some like aim assist or something. Yeah, but I control I almost wonder if you think a lot of times they're just kinda It I guess it depends on probably the engine, right? To mm -hmm. to be like, oh they're on PC but they're using a controller, let's do aim assist. It's not just a but then that's a, that's another checkbox, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know. And with how just screwed up PC gaming was for so long, it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if some of these engines are based on like tech that's like, oh well, they're playing on PC, so yeah. Do we know this is UE four or UE five? Is that unknown? I can't imagine it would be UE5. Like, are there any UE5 projects out there? I don't know. UE5's been out for what, about a year? But it's- I know developers had it in their hands longer. Yeah. I know that for a fact. Fuck. I'm super low, so... Maybe not. Doesn't matter. Apparently not. So that's a fun thing, too, that it doesn't tell you, like... What's the criteria for getting a res? Your partner has to be KO'd and then you can get it? Because if that's the case, I would have just ran away, right? Like, mm -hmm. they were both camping your body. If I knew, okay, you go down so then I can get a res, I would have done that. Like, these signs in the lobby are the only tutorial. Even then, they're not really extreme. No.
I do like, though, that somebody could be charging up a Vicious. And you just slap him in the titty and it knocks him back and then they have to do it all over again. <coughs> There's no, like, fast dive, too, which really annoys me. No, I do wish there was. Somebody's coming up with you. I have a book ready, so. Speaking of wrestling and video games and all that jazz, did you see the mm -hmm. Twitter thread that somebody was like, somebody commented on uh, one of Gersman's posts about wrestling or whatever? No. He's like, he's like, why are so many video game journalists like wrestling geeks, basically? And he made a joke about how like, oh, well, they ask for your card or whatever and, mm -hmm. in the interviews. But, like, it totally makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. wrestling is kind of video games on TV. It is, 100%. Damn. I'm sorry. Thanks for canceling that. Yeah. Well, didn't matter. <laughs> I got I heard such in a loop, it did not matter. Yeah. Oh, that's the what I've always heard is another one I found interesting. So I'm not into it, but I've always heard too is another the one that's weird is you don't understand why are more video people not into sports because a lot of ways like the way sports are presented on TV is very video game ass. Yeah. Like sports are glorified RPGs. For being honest. Um. Yes. The way and the, no. the way ESPN presents it now. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm saying always. I'm saying now. Yeah. Shit. You getting fucked up by a super <laughs> knocked me out of place. I'm about to be extra fucked up. Yeah. Fuck. God. Fuck you. Fuck your bullshit. The end. Can't believe it. The ring's closing in already. Goodbye, moon. Goodbye, earth. Oh, goodbye. Got your ass. We gotta bust a move, though. Nine, That's fine. I'm gonna get counted out. I don't have enough stamina. Oh, Seven. my goodness. Dude, how many people are about to get counted out? That girl? <laughs> Their teammate down. is down. Ouch. Like, he didn't even take a breath. I also think it's funny, like, the... The journalists that are sports fans... Mm -hmm. The teams that they're fans of. Okay, well, most sports fandom is I grew up in this area or identify with this area. 
Yeah, but they always choose the dumb teams. Like, if they're in New York, they choose the Jets. Mm -hmm. The Jets fucking suck. <laughs> or you choose the Eagles, which... Other than their Super Bowl win, the Eagles haven't only. been shit. Who was, the, was that Manning when they... No. Uh, no, Nick Foles. Nick Foles, I suppose. Big Dick Nick, as they like call him. It's funny though, because like everybody, um, everybody will talk about how like Joe Burrow was on the uh, Ohio State squad, mm -hmm. was on the Ohio State team, and was like the fifth string quarterback or something like that before he transferred to LSU. Mm -hmm. Nick Foles was the second string quarterback at Michigan State <laughs> before he transferred to Arizona. Which, I mean, like, you know, obviously, you're Chicagoland area, so your team is um, Northwestern. Even though... No, U of I. Is U of I closer to you? No, but... Or is that just your team growing up? Most of my family went there. Gotcha. Like, that's a yeah. good example of, like... And also, in general, people identify the Northwestern the last just because it's a private school. Yeah. Like, in Illinois, it's... So many people want you to buy, like it's just so different. It's where the rich motherfuckers go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will say though, their campus is beautiful. Mm -hmm. They have some Everything. of the coolest sports venues in the nation. Oh, totally. And some of the best views from sports venues in the nation. But I'm just gonna say, but when Soldier Field gets messed up, the Bears go to U of I. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not claiming Northwestern is better. It's just, it's a beautiful campus. And oh, yeah, no, no, that, the, that I will 100% agree. The, the price of tuition shows, right? Like, <laughs> which I think is great. There are a bunch of universities out there that are just expensive to be expensive. And the tuition price doesn't show. I think Harvard is one of them. Uh, I mean, Harvard's campus is pretty nice. Um, okay, but for how much money they have, I don't know. Yeah. For being, what, the richest school in the world? I don't know. I gotta give them some sort of credit because they will... Their whole thing of, like, if your family makes less than a hundred grand, it's just free. Like, it's no questions asked. Sure, but they could have done that 20 years ago. I don't know yes. if to me that's... Yeah, no, it's not like, oh, this is a game changer or anything. It's nice that they do it. No, 100% um, I'm not the Like, them doing it good. But I don't know whether them, to me, I'm like, okay. You actually saved that. me by doing that move. Nice. Yep. She wanted um, to go save her friend. But, you know, there's there's a couple, like... Um, for example, when we went to Columbus a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, that was the first time I'd ever been on Ohio State's campus. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty nice. Um, you know, a Columbus lot of... Columbus is a nice city. Yes. A lot of combo of old buildings but they're well kept mixed with like cutting edge architecture mm -hmm. which to me is the perfect combo for a university i love when a university does that like um you know the dorm buildings are these beautiful old like 19th century style buildings but then the classrooms are in these 
See, Bikimiota, when you live in those dorms, I, I, everyone else would tell you they want the address. <laughs> yes, no, I absolutely agree that from a livable standpoint, it sucks. From a, hey man, this looks awesome standpoint. Yeah. It's better. I mean, it's better than the pieces of shit that they built in the 70s at some of these universities that they all look the same. They all look like public block housing that you see, like, you know, when they talk about, like, oh, this is what the UK was like, you know, post-war. And everyone hates it. the stun on that. Oh, sweet. They got a count on. You good? Barely, but I can make it. They got it wrong. Yeah, so. Doesn't matter. Yep, doesn't matter. Well, no, I say it didn't matter because I downed him right away. Sure, but the other, but the other friend is still alive, so. Yeah. I hear more peeps. For example, I think a campus that gets way too much credit is the University of Michigan campus. People love, is that the Timberwolves? What is the University of Michigan? No, they are the Wolverines. Wolverines, that's it. Uh, again, family with you by, so no love for Michigan. <laughs> a Michigan State fan, no love for Michigan. There is a special breed of Michigander known as the Walmart Wolverine. <laughs> um. uh, we got friends over here. If you want to come to me. You did 420 damage to that dude. Nice. Kind of help. Yep. Whenever I get like a double Gmo emo, I know it's something from Google proper. Because <laughs> that means multiple emails getting at the same time. Especially since I can't fucking move when I'm super. Alright, uh, one more match. Yeah, probably. I'd love to get my super off game. That'd be great. Uh, they claimed finally won, by the way. The ass boys. All the it took boys. was daddy ass. How much you want to bet that's going to be in a promo? That all, it was it, all it took was daddy ass. You, did you watch the clip? It was literally him. No, I haven't seen it. It really took daddy ass. <laughs> that is really what happened. Daddy ass might be my favorite gimmick. <laughs> Scissor me daddy. Scissor me daddy ass. That, so that was, um, somebody was like, how do I explain the acclaimed? 
<laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I can't. Like, how do you explain the scissor me daddy ass thing? And you go, you don't. Because it's going to take an hour to do it. And I'm going to be back in 30 seconds. At least you know when I'm back, because if I'm Jump Master, we just... Yeah, I was, I was like, damn it. I was very much thinking that. Yeah, like, how do you even start to explain Daddy Ass? Like, yeah, how do you explain, like, yes, yeah, he's the coach, you first explain, like, what? Well, first you have to explain Billy Gunn. First you explain the Ass Boys. Well, no, you have to start with Billy Gunn. Yeah. Because also, you're like, like... They weren't... Yeah. You're like, okay, so his thing was he was Mr. Ass. And he wasn't a huge fan of the Mr. Ass name, and he kind of took it and ran with it for a little bit. And so there's all, all that. And then he had two, two legitimate kids, like those are his kids. Um, yeah, which is wild. And they turned out to be pretty good wrestlers. And then you have the acclaimed, and then you have to go into the whole, like, you know, Bowens, um, like, you have to explain Anthony Bowens, like, you know, he's, this is no time to catch your breath. he's one of the first openly gay, uh, wrestlers out there, um, at least in mainstream rosters, well, and still performing, like, mm -hmm. I think that's the, that's the part of it that is really, like, kind of the main feature of him that a lot of people kind of don't necessarily understand is like okay yes there are there are other gay wrestlers but a lot of them are retired um and then they come out you know there's not a lot out there that were uh openly out while they were still performing. Mm -hmm. Choke slammed his ass. So, dude, I'll camp the body. Fuck. I'm back on the body. I think he has to be desperate. Oh, good. I was like, oh no. Sorry. Their partner's got to be dead by now. He yeah. is, I saw him. How much health? There we go. <laughs> that much health. So now he has about 450. Out, bud. Take his ass out, Wake Disqualified. You gotta stay in the ring. The contestants had better be careful if they don't want to get clobbered by one of those. How? Oh my God. How? <laughs> How did you do that? 
Don't you doubt daddy ass. <laughs> oh, I never doubt daddy ass, but you are not daddy ass. <laughs> you thought it was over, didn't you? Well, yeah, because I thought you were on the same time where I was. No, because I was dead the whole time. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was, I think it's a good way to end it. Damn. I, for me, for saving it with life. <laughs> that. We are leaving the match, boys. <laughs> yep, and, and we will see everyone next week. Next week with maybe a different game. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? You think we plan these things? It's up to Mike about that. See you later.